Okay, so with this question here, I've filled in the answers and I'll explain them now. Okay, so the survey was um, carried out in Newcastle and um, two questions were asked. So in, in part A, it says write down one criticism of the first question. When you read that first question, okay, the tone of it sort of leads you to sort of say no, okay? Because, you know, it says, do you think it's right to play England's games in London? Okay, but it's given then sort of like a justification for you to say no, because it says, which makes it difficult for people from the north of England to attend. Now, they're asking people in Newcastle in the north of England, so of course they're going to say no. I don't, I don't think it's right, okay? So it's a leading question, we say, okay? It leads you to give one answer. A question should be unbiased, okay? There should be no bias at all. You should be able to select one or the other without any opinions from the question itself. Here, though, it's sort of making you to say no. Question two, then, what two reasons we've got to give um, why it's not suitable. Well, it says here, how often have you visited the new Wembley Stadium in London? Okay. Um, okay, so how many times have you been? Well, what if you've never been? Okay, so that was my first reason. There's no option for zero. Okay, if you've never been there. And then the second reason then I can see here, if you notice, look, 10, right, is in both boxes, isn't it? Because here it says 6 to 10 times, whereas here it says 10 or more times. So if you actually went 10 times, okay, um, what box do you take? You know, you, you can't take two boxes. You can only take one box. So which one should you go in? Okay. Um, so boxes are not supposed to overlap like that.